So what I'm dealing with right now is one way to raise the kundalini energy inside of you. You even hear Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Well, if the serpent is evil, why the hell is Moses lifting up the serpent in, in the wilderness? That's cold. Huh? That's cold. Yeah, what I'm saying is also if you deal with the, with the kundalini energy, the spiritual energy, the serpentine fire, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Now, the kundalini can be stirred up by some fully awakened by any of the following, stirred up and fully awakened by any of the following methods. I'm still on the sex thing and still on some stuff. I'm trying to show you what we're dealing with here is straight up science. Now, y'all just bear with me. The total concentration of the of absorption of the mind in its source brought on by intense study and research. These are 10 different ways you can raise this thing. One is by intense study and research. That's why a lot of sisters now are turned on by a brother who got a lot of knowledge. They say, well, goddamn, stimulate me intellectually. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Then you have some sisters, they be going up in consciousness and in the brother. When your sister start going up in the consciousness, it's time for you to start getting with it too. Because sooner or later, she's going to be leaving your ass. Because <laughs> when you're going one way, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, it ain't happened both ways. I got it up, up and down the East Coast. I have conscious brother come up and say, man, I'm into this shit, but my wife, she just, she just ain't into this shit. I don't know what to do. It's, it's really lonely and all this kind of shit here. And one girl, every time they play my take, she'd run in the other room and shit. Thought she'd go into hell. <laughs> well, I said, well, I, well, I said, my takes are a bit extreme. I can't see why I'm up like a little thing. Did they go into damn hell and stuff? I'm up to get cursing in them. You know, I'm just talking about not for you. I'm talking about for dead folks. I'm talking about Satan and all that kind of shit. You damn right. You know, for the fall out of a damn holy sanctified church and she hear that shit. Might lock your ass up. But anyway, so she said, my wife run in the room. Every time she hear your case, she run in the room. I say your damn name, she run in the room. So, <laughs> my family, you say it. I said, well, I'll take that as a compliment. So, anyway, um, anyway, uh, going back to this, um, uh, that's why, I, but, but, but if, you, if the woman wants to start getting into consciousness, she, if, if she start getting into consciousness and you dead, sooner or later she going to leave your ass. We're not necessarily talking about everybody up in here is supposed to be conscious, but the point I'm trying to make here is um, that's why some sisters say, well, stimulate me intellectually. Uh, you know what I'm saying? On that particular level. I'm just using the woman as an example. So they say that one way to raise the Kundalini is intense study and research by absolute um, uh, introversion and by some state of mental sequence. Compounded with the concentration of mental energy and magical symbol or sigil. So basically, they're just talking about focusing on a higher degree of knowledge. It can be stimulated, or actually, that raises this kundalini energy too. Remember, the kundalini energy is sexual energy. Drugs, the second one is drugs and alcohol. To worship me with strange wine and strange drugs, I will tell my prophet, Be drunk thereof, and I shall not harm thee at all. So, in one way, uh, 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 I don't know that drug shit don't count. Jail with us as black people too good. So, uh, you know what I'm saying and all. You know, and if you ain't an alcoholic by nature, stuff, maybe you can dabble in a little bit of spirits and stuff. That's why they call it spirits. You see what I'm saying? So I guess well, we'll trade off. Well, some marijuana for you people to you know to do that and all, and then you got some, you know, whatever thing you know. However you want to do that, some mushrooms or whatever. <laughs> so I'm just giving you the ten ways you can pick. There's ten ways to do this shit. Drugs and alcohol. Worship me the wine and this, this uh, wine and strange drugs. They all uh, be my prophet will be drunk. They all, and I shall not harm thee. The other thing is shock, a uh, shock, uh, or in intense surprise, grief, ecstasy, etc. A sudden release of the subconscious energy affects the kundalini. So shock can do the shit. <laughs> You see, they ask Carrie about that shit. <laughs> Movie Carrie, when they throw that hog blood on them. Hmm? What's that? Um, uh, those, um, I know some Caucasian write, write books on sex tantric. Are those things that raise their kundalini? No, no, this is, this is, this is stuff, or, period. See, just period? Yeah, this, this is stuff here. It's all, there's all types of different things and all. Um, um, most of this stuff here is actually coming from the uh, Hindu texts. The Hindu text, because they used to do all of that in ancient world. You see what I'm saying? The drug thing, but like I said, sugar was a drug to the ancient Egyptians. 
They have to take sugar and get to another level. Alcohol certainly was one. We invented alcohol. You understand what I'm saying? It was it was it was, it was certain certainly one. Um, no, most of these are basically um, coming from basically the, the Hindu tantric thing by way of pre-dynastic killing. You know, ecstasy by ecstasy induced by music, mainly jazz and rhythmic drumming and mantra. You see what I'm saying? So music can do it. You see, okay? Speed, which has a tendency to loosen the astral body, thus make it possible uh, and, and will influx of cosmic energy and whirl and dance and derivations of frenzy, uh, 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 frenzy brought on by voodoo practitioners induced in similar condition in, uh, in repeatedly cosmic influences that act directly upon the fire snake. So in so many words, speed, rhythmic dances, or uh, um, uh, getting into a real rhythmic uh, uh, form of um, um, a rhythmic form of, of dancing or rhythm. And you see the voodoo, uh, the, the people in Haiti and all that type of stuff going into trance and all of that type of stuff. Or you see a motherfucker down in Alabama getting that goddamn Holy Ghost. Get that damn, whoop that shit there, you know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is all a part of that, no. Remember, everything that was going on is nothing but us taking a record of what our bodies used to do. And recording that record, and that's the stuff that you got now that you look at as gospel. It's just our experiences, you see what I'm saying? Magically controlled ex sexual activity in which the Kunilini uh, is a uh, imma uh, diet object. Oh, oh, I'm sad. I got to go down. That's an inanimate object. God damn. <laughs> this is a dangerous method that demands a high grade of initiation for the practitioner. That's for white people. Now, that is for white people. You know, you see what I'm saying? Uh, because. Uh, and to answer your question, um, a lot of these things here, as far as some things, is that they have to be very careful because the Kundalini energy inside of them is very, um, is very dangerous because of the simple fact that the, the ultimate filtering point is the pineal gland because they have a calcified pineal gland. If they rush too much up there, it will just set them on fire and stuff because they don't have the filtering point or the mechanism that where this thing is filtered out. But believe me, I done raised every kind of kundalini energy there is. And um, it don't hurt us at all for the simple fact it is a natural phenomenon in us. Whereas with them, it's not a natural phenomenon because their body is uh, irregular. And they don't have the capacity, so they'll burn up, you see. Um, they, they will burn up. So uh, sexual activity. Abs so that's what I'm coming from with this whole this sexual thing. Absolute compassion for all created things. This is the Buddhist formula, par excellence, which leads to the highest Buddhist formula, um, um, and the highest Buddhist trance is also called samadhi, the state of the natural permanent self-realization, and activated and act by activism. So um, they talk about this uh, uh, compassion thing also can do it also. Um, ecstasy and personal rapture through a. This is the point here. A contemplation of a supreme deity. So that means that you can take a, and that's what happens when people, that's what I, when I say this thing, when, when, when people say, well, Bobby, I know that Jesus exists because I have healed myself through, through Jesus. I've gotten all cracked through Jesus. This is what they're talking about here is. You can take an ent entity, which is an archetype, and there's an archetype inside of you of the collective unconsciousness. This is the scientific method on what's happening when people go into church. And they can believe so far into the deity, and that's not hard to deal with if that's the only thing you've ever known all your life is this Jesus figure. If you was in Asia, it might be Buddha. If you was in the Middle East, it might be Muhammad. Or the Monty, you know what I'm saying? Or if you was in Disneyland, it might be fucking Mickey Mouse. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so what happens here is that the person taps believes so severe into that deity until it releases hormones of the archetype of the collective unconsciousness in them for healing, and in this case, for the kundalini raising. So some people do have spiritual experiences through the Jesus thing if they were black, only because they believed in it so much it created a reaction on the inside 
That's the mystery. That's why you can't tell black people that this shit is not real. They say, I know he's real. You understand? That's because they have been trained to set off a certain response inwardly. You see what I'm saying? When they even hear his name. They got motherfuckers, you say Jesus, and they start jumping. They show this thing. But that's what do you get that same shit in the damn movie um, with Frank Sinatra, uh, what's the name of that movie, um, 1950 something, um, 1962. Frank Sinatra, uh, um, it's a mind control movie. Uh, Manchurian, Candidate. Manchurian Candidate. They can say a code word and you go, you know what I'm saying? You'll be walking down the street 20 years from now and shit. And it'll be 20 years later and they say a code. You pick up a phone and they go, the apple is on the gate. And you go, you're going to kill up some people. That's because they have programmed it in. So whenever you hear that, you have a response. That's through a hypnosis, a hypnosis method. Right? Well, they can do the same thing with Jesus. You know it's real because it has worked its way into your subconscious collective unconsciousness. You see what I'm saying? Same thing happened with my aunt. She had a dream of the collective unconsciousness. She had real chronic arthritis. Real, she was young. She was in her late 30s and 40s when she's having this shit. And she just had a dream in her late 40s or early 50s. She had a dream. And the dream wasn't about no, nothing spiritual, but about some water or some other place. She saw a person in the dream. And when she woke up, she was cured. But by her ass being from Mullins, South Carolina, although she was up in D.C. teaching school, and, but the only thing, only way of anything spirit that ever came was Eleanor AME Church. <laughs> the first thing she gonna think is Jesus. You get what I'm coming from here? So here, they say that you can even worship a, 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 a deity to a certain level. What's that, sister? Can you raise the COVID energy in the dream state? Because I yeah. think about I think they're going to talk about I think that's one of the, I think that's one of the actual things. Um, I think that's, um, that's one of the uh, religious, hold on, uh, re religious enthusiasm induced by a total devotion to an absolute to the absolute conceived under a personal deity. And resulting to the obsession leads to a transcendent and individual of the individual taps into cosmic energy. The devotee is caught up into heaven of his God. Another part here is violence. You see what I'm saying? Uh, violence. Now, you might think this is white. It ain't white. I didn't say this shit here before. How many people have got into a fight? I've I talked about this before. And how many people have ever been in a fight before? Raise your hand. Now, I know if you niggas, you've been in a fight before. <laughs> now, how many people have been in a fight? Now, how many people have gotten into a damn fight? And after the fight was over, Somebody had to come tell you what went on, because you don't remember. <laughs> now, if you want to receive it into that shit, you remember because you get your ass with You wasn't mad enough. But I haven't gotten in a fight that was so damn mad. And true, when I got there, they said, man, you was killing that nigga. <laughs> See what I'm saying? And they had to tell me what was going on. That was a higher state of spirituality. On the flip side, I had gotten a fight where I beat a motherfucker shoe up with my face. <laughs> and I remember every bit of that fight. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The flip side, I was getting my ass killed. And I remember every bit of that fight. But I, you see what I'm saying? I remember every bit of that fight. You see? So. Um, that's one. Another form is the dreams. That's what, she, what my aunt had. She had a part of the dreams. And as a result, she raised the kundalini energy inside of her and she healed herself. They say it's called healing in the wings. Well, you see the kundalini symbol in Kimmy is what? Two serpents, a staff, and the caduceus. The staff and the caduceus and what? Wings. That's your medical symbol. 
You see what I'm saying? So the healing in the wings. So yes, a dream can do it. You see, dreams can do it. But I do know that the violence do it and stuff because I know I'm going to that fucking metaphysical level through fighting. Because anger does it. Anger does it. You see what I'm saying? In some methods, in the Hindu thing, the Christ... When he gets angry, that's when he really goes to a spiritual level. When Shiva gets angry, that's when all hell breaks loose. Mm 